here on Barber Road is very, very silent, very quiet. You can see the house here. It's uh, burned out. The roof is burned out on the top of it. There's a fireplace there in the center where they're focusing the investigation. And uh, they're a pall over the neighborhood right now. A lot of people very upset. And uh, joining me here is Brian. He's a neighbor who lives across the street. Uh, describe for me what happened. At 2 o'clock in the morning, you had a, a, a knock on the door. Yeah, we had a loud banging on the door. My neighbor came over. When I opened the door, he was standing. He was bleeding. And he was saying, my house is on fire. My house is on fire. So I ran out. And I looked and I saw the house ablaze. So I just ran over to do what I could do to try to help to get her out. And I asked him, was anybody in the house? He said, my wife, my wife and her friend is still in the house. So I just, you know, at the time panicked, just tried to help my neighbor. I just ran over, tried to get in, but it was too much of a blaze. I couldn't get in. I went around the back side of the house, tried to get in from the back side, and I couldn't get in there. So it was just too much of a blaze. So I just, by that time, the fire department was pulling up, and I just stepped back at the fire department and did what they had to do. And as you take a look over at the house, you can see, I mean, approaching this house, it was a lot of fire, a lot of smoke. Yeah. And, you know, you, there's just not much you could do. Now, tell me, that. so he, his wife, and there's a friend from Pittsburgh that was in there who did not make it out alive. Yeah, she did not make it out. As, as I was told afterwards, she did not make it out alive. So um, at the time, we, I didn't know this. I just, like I said, he came over. He was distraught. He was bleeding. I just tried to help do what I could do. So. What, what are you thinking tonight? I mean, the whole neighborhood's really coming around. You're, you're a tight-knit neighborhood. Yeah, this is a very tight neighborhood. Everyone here gets along great, and that's what I like about this neighborhood since I've been living here from day one. Just all the neighbors get along. You know, we have cookouts. We have things like that together. We just, you know, enjoy each other. We talk. Every time we see somebody pass by, we speak, things like that. It's a great neighborhood. Wow. Well, I'm sorry yeah. for your loss. I, and thank you for trying to do thank what you, you could do. Yeah, That's you. what's going on here right now. Uh, the state fire marshal's office is investigating. They are looking at a cause right now, everything preliminary. They have uh, no results on the cause. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Middletown, News 8.